What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for this guy for Complete Plus. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys what the best weapon is and how to get it. Now, if you've been playing Disgaea games for a while, you know that the best weapon changes pretty often. And before Disgaea 5, you pretty much went by the rule of rank 40 is the best. Well, I'm sorry to say, but once again, that's not true anymore. While it technically was true for the original Disgaea 4, this is not the original. You see, this game is based on Disgaea 4 Complete, which released on the PS Vita many years after the original launched on the PS3. And it got quite a few new things, including a new rank 41 and 42 gear. So, sorry, but you won't be using a Cosmo Fist or a Ball Sword this time around. Now, there are technically two weapons that can vie for the best slot, which is the rank 41 weapons, in this case we'll talk about the Eastern Sword though, or the rank 42 Great Ball Horn. So what makes these two vie for the best spot? Their stats are very close to each other, but that's not what we're going to decide this on, because at the end of this, regardless of which weapon you chose, all the stats are going to be capped at 2.1 million. Uh, anyway, so if stats aren't the deciding factor, then what is? Simple, the other stats. So things like attack range, movement, and jump. You see, the Eastern has 3 move, 20 jump, 2 attack range, and 15 critical chance. But the Great Ball Horn has 3 move, which is the same, 30 jump, which is 10 higher, free attack range which is one higher and finally an extra 45 percent critical chance which is 30 percent higher so while the great ball horn is technically the best go-to weapon for this game the differences are quite small because we'll be using 100 professional innocence which means critical hit chance doesn't matter the stats are the same for armor, you should be absolutely using the invincible armor, which means regardless of which weapon you choose, you're also going to cap out on movement and jump. So that just leaves attack range. Because of this small difference, I'm going to leave the decision up to you for which weapon you want to use, and I'll tell you how to get both of them, including all other rank 41 weapons, in case you want to use uh, some weapon exclusive skills. So let's start with the great ball horn, shall we? since the method for getting this weapon is actually the easiest to explain because all you need to do is win against ball. Yep, you just have to beat the game's optional super boss. Simple, right? Well, he has stats in the range of 40 million each and a good chunk of health, plus an evilty which means you have to kill him 5 times total for him to actually die. Combined with the fact to even unlock ball, you must first complete all uh, post-game content and unlock every single unique character, which I'll link to a guide down in the description for how to do this because there's a couple which aren't so simple. Also, just a reminder, you can either reset and kill him again if you don't get a rarity zero, or you can steal another Great Ball Horn from the item god on floor 100 of the Great Ball Horn's item world. Now, if you're lazy like me, it's easier to just keep resetting until you get one from Ball, since it's faster than going through 100 floors of the item world. So, with Ball out of the way, what about rank 41 weapons? Well, these are much easier and faster to obtain, since you don't need to already be overpowered to get them. Much like the other Disguise titles, we need to get a rank 39 weapon. However, you have to be in the Land of Carnage for anything above rank 35 to appear. With a few exceptions. For example, you can get the Arcadia and Super Mech Suit from Pringor X and the 39 Sword Yoshitsune from Zeta in the post game, which is exactly how we're going to get the Yoshi. When fighting against Zeta, keep retrying until his Yoshitsune is a legendary and then steal it. Don't worry about Rarity Zero. As for the other rank 39 weapons, the easiest way I personally get them is by using a thief character with the LT Lucky Finger. This LT increases the ranks of items from treasure chests by 1, so if you uh, break a chest that rewards a rank 38 weapon, you will actually get the rank 39 instead. For easy legendary chests, reverse pirate any item, ideally one of the three mentioned earlier, Arcadia, Super Mech Suit and Yoshitsune. In order to reverse pirates, you must advance through at least 20 floors of said item in the item world. 
Before you do, however, begin pirating, make sure to save the game, because if you don't get the rank 39 item, you need to reset, because you will only have 5 chances to pirate each item. But for each chance, you need to get into floors 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100. So, simply head on in, break the green chests, finish pirating, and if you get the item you want, uh, then hey, reset if you don't. And finally, once again, you must be in the land of Carnage to get rank 36 plus items. Okay, now you have your rank 39, now what? Simple, head into the item world all the way down to floor 99. On floor 99, Gensi out and go to the land of Carnage. Now, it's super important you Gensi out on floor 99 because the item god on floor 100 will only have the next stage item if you enter floor 100 from floor 99. So you can't just go to 100 and Gensi out there because then he won't have the gear. So, like I was saying, Gensi out on floor 99, go to the land of Carnage, go back into the item on floor 99 and advance to floor 100. Now steal the rank 40 weapon from the item guard with a max level thief character. Let's use the Yoshitsuna as an example here. The floor 100 item guard for the Yoshi will have the rank 40 sword, the ball sword. So make sure to steal it and then just leave the item world in whatever way you want. Okay, we have the rank 40 weapon now, so how do we get the rank 41? Exactly the same way we just got the rank 40. Go back to the normal area, go into the item world for the rank 40 item, and advance all the way to floor 99. Again, Gensi out, go to the land of Carnage and re-enter the weapon, advance once more to floor 100, and the item guard here will once again have the upgraded rank 41 weapon. In the sword's case, it will be the Ishin sword. And there we go. That is how you obtain the best weapons for this guy for complete. Now that you have the weapons, why not take a look at my guide for how to get them to max stats, since the process is different to how you would normally do weapon maxing. For example, a level 300 trap will have about 400,000 in all stats, a maxed level, sorry, a maxed capped will have 2 million for all stats. So there's a, there's a pretty big difference here for min maxing gear. With that said though everybody, I hope this video has helped, if it has then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below, and if you're new to the channel then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified for all my future content. Finally, for anybody who wants to help support the channel, why not become a member? All links are down below in the description. As always though, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.